Hey guys, so this is efficiency theory part two. Um, I've thought about how it works and I've kind of expanded on the idea. So going back to our template here, 250 troops need skill 29 defenses. These are really hard to measure. Um, this is my calculator, so say I use 15 troops, those troops need to take out 1.74 uh, defenses, or basically two defenses, in order for them to be worth it. Um, easy thing to remember is 10 troops is worth one defense, almost. Um, yeah. So how this builds into my plan is um, I've kind of been comparing the stages, and what I've found is that, like, for example, in a standard hog, there's the clan castle pull, there's the clan castle kill, um, there's archer queen kill, and then there's the hog. The, in the hog, that last stage, that's like the execution stage. And it's you can see it the same in the Goa Loon. The Lava Hounds and the Loons are the execution stage. That stage um, actually makes up efficiency for the other stages. The first three stages that I mentioned in my hog and a standard hog attack, standard form hog attack, are typically inefficient. I've been watching a lot of three-star replays, and I'm finding that each one is a little bit inefficient. Because, I mean, it makes sense. You're using a small portion of offense to go against the whole defense. So it's very hard to make that efficient. Um, but you want to make those as efficient as possible so that your execution stage has less work to do in the end. And that's what I'm finding is leading to, um, leading to three stars, is executing each stage properly and getting the right efficiency out of each one. Um, so how that affects my attack in this, I was doing planning and I really considered efficiency when I was doing the planning for this attack. And it almost worked and I can show kind of where it didn't work. So first off is the scouting. Lots of thought, I decided that all the Teslas were in the corners. I was right. Um, I suspected they could be in the middle, but I doubted it. Um, I was very certain there was a double giant bomb position here. And then I was guessing there's a giant bomb there, a giant bomb there. Um, there could also be a giant bomb here, but I feel like it wouldn't make sense to put um, singles um, right next to a double giant bomb set. So yeah. And spring traps, I didn't really scout for or think about. It, it ended up screwing me because there were spring traps pretty much all through here. And um, that did my attack in. I lost way too many hogs at the end. Knowing what I know now, I would have um, done my hog deployment differently. But anyhow, that's, that's getting off topic. So, for my clan castle pull, I would like to eliminate this double giant bomb threat in my first stage of my attack. So I was trying to think of different ways to make it more efficient. And what I came up with, I, there's a lot of different things that I was thinking about. I was thinking about coming in with uh, two golems right here. The golems would work their way in and shoot down. The queen would start heading on them. King would take them out. But you know what? That wouldn't be very consistent. I'd have to use a spell for the clan castle, which is a pretty good trade. There's there's all kinds of things that could go wrong here. Archer queen would probably take out that air defense and that archer tower. But it's not a guarantee that the queen would go down. It's not a guarantee that the clan castle would go down. It looks too risky for me. And the other thing... Is, is that say that succeeds, say I use two golems, um, five wizards, and my heroes, that is 80 troop space, I need to take out ten or uh, basically 10 defenses to make that efficient. And what I'd be getting out of it is one, two, three, oh, let's see, there's five there, six. I'd be getting six defenses, the traps, and one of the heroes. Actually, no, I'd be getting two of the heroes. So, I mean, that's not that's not horrible. It's um, two defenses shy, but I'm taking out traps and the heroes. Um, put it in perspective, I'm trading um, two spells, because I'd have to use a jump spell, for to take out their traps, and I'd be using my heroes to take out their heroes. It would be fast, so it'd be time efficient and I'd be taking out the third troop. So I would be trading this for that pretty much, and I'd be having two spells left over. Um, however, I would not be efficient from a defensive kill standpoint. So there's that. The next thing I was considering is sending in 
hogs are like this. Um, a giant first to tank these point defenses. And I thought, well, wait, the Tesla might pull my hogs out here. Um, and that would just kind of ruin everything because it would allow the king to bash on them so quickly. So I decided instead that I was going to deploy my hogs like this with a giant right here out in front. And I had settled on seven hogs and one giant, so 40 housing space. And with that investment, I wanted to take out five defenses and the traps. And uh, I needed a rage spell in this situation because a heal spell, the clan castle troops would have gotten there and killed them while they were under heal. The rage spell allowed them to get through those defenses quickly and take out everything, effectively negating this uh, air defense. So, if we look at that on paper, it's one spell and, what did I say, 40 housing space. And I only need to get 4.64 defenses, and I'm getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm getting 5 defenses for my investment, which is more than efficient. Oh, you stupid, stupid software. Okay, we're back after that stupid thing. Anyhow, um, let's see. So yeah, I actually, this was efficient. This was a good trade. Five defenses, the clan castle pull, and traps negated for one spell and 40 housing space. So that that satisfied me. I, I, I was good with that. Um, a normal clan castle pull is worth about 10 or 15 housing space anyway, so that's just adding even more onto the value. Uh, the next phase was the clan castle kill, and the standard form clan castle kill is two witches, um, two barbs, and two or three wizards. So that's about I don't know 38 housing space to take out their 30 housing space. And the value is is that the witches and two of the wizards from that survive. So um, you're actually only trading for housing space. However, those witches and wizards do not contribute to actually killing any defenses in a normal situation. Uh, well, in this situation. So that kind of makes them pretty much for cleanup and for consistency and for continuing into the next objective of taking out the Archer Queen. So on paper, they're not really very efficient. So because they're not really efficient, I should either do something different or I should justify using them and, and justify that they're giving me some other value. Um, the other value they're giving me, as I said, is consistency. If my Barbarian King fails to take out the Archer Queen, um, the Witch's Skeletons are there to back it up and take out the Archer Queen and finish the job. Uh, the Witches are very good for killing the Clan Castle Kill, so that's something that could go wrong with my attack that um, is very unlikely to go wrong because of how good the Kill Squad is at taking them out. Um, the Witches are all, the Skeletons will also go all the way around the space and clean out the trash buildings, which helps a ton with cleanup. And time is a factor with hog attacks. So I decided to use the uh, standard kill squad for this attack. And in other attacks, with like my Goho attacks, where I'm throwing in two golems and I'm going straight for the queen and to take out traps, it's more efficient to bring a lightning spell and rely on my heroes and golems to take out the clan castle because of time and because of um, I don't have to bring a kill squad, which means I can free up basically 38 housing space to be used on um, hogs, which uh, makes my execution phase much more, much easier and much more successful. Um, so yeah, so I was happy with that. And then the hogging phase, basically I had, I think it was 28 hogs um, to destroy the rest of the defenses. The execution phase is kind of it, it can go so many different ways. You're trying to set yourself up so there's as few defenses as possible, and there's um, as many spells as possible, and there's as many troops as possible. And it's all kind of about deployment, but you can you can help yourself more. Um, what ended up killing me, me in this attack was the deployment. Everything was efficient. I had all the troops. Everything was good. I needed to take out this archer tower and this archer tower with hogs, from the sides so that um, my hogs didn't path over these spring traps, my main groups, and didn't lose three at a time to each spring trap. 
And my dog is peeing on the floor because I'm not paying attention to him. So that's the end of this video.